crack rate okay interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP space address so the net ID is 200.200.200.0 slash 24 so here also we can use 256 IP address only 254 IP address only we can use it remaining two IP addresses net ID and direct broadcast 200.200.200.1 Submit mask is 255.255.255.0 No shutdown to enable that interface It is an DCN So here we can apply the clock rate Clock space rate 64000 Exit Ok This is an DTN So in DTN we cannot apply the clock rate Interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP space address 200.200.200.2 Submit mask is 255.255.255.0 No shutdown to enable that interface Exit Ok Now we can assign the IP address to private network as well as the public network Now we can use the routing protocol EHRP routing protocol to configure in ABC organization and XYZ organization Ok In router global mode we can give router space EIGRP in EIGRP we can use the autonomous system number value is 1 to 65535 so here we can give any value I will choose 100 so the autonomous system value is common for all the routers in this topologies so network next ABC router can be connected to the direct connected network is 10.10.100.0 and 10.10.200.0 and 200.200.200.0 so first we can give 10.10.100.0 next direct, direct connected network is 10.10.200.0 next direct connected network is 200.200.200.0 next we can give the no auto summary otherwise it can be summarize auto summary exit now we can configure the routing protocol into xyz router so router space eagrp here also we can give same autonomous system value 100 next xyz direct connector network is 192.168.100.0 and 200.200.200.0 so network 192.168.100.0 next network 200.200.200.0 next we can give the note or summary exit ok now we can assign the IP address to all the network and we can configure the routing protocol now we can use the dynamic net so in dynamic net first of all we can create then group of IP address in ISPF we can use 200.200.200.0 so slash 24 here we can use 256 IP address in 256 IP address we can use 254 IP address remaining 2 is a net ID and direct broadcast in 254 IP address we can assign this port 1 and this port 2 so remaining 252 IP address in the 252 IP address we can randomly select a particular IP address so that can be selected as an we can assign one group name so the private IP address from this two network will receive the packet from ABC router then it passes through this ISPF means in that group it can be automatically translated so now we can go to that ABC router so in global mode first of all we can create the pool pool is a group of IP address so IP NAT inside next we can give pool sorry IP space NAT next we can give the pool the pool name is public public next we can give the starting IP and ending IP here I will give 200.200.200.8 and ending IP address is 200.200.200.15 ok next we can give the net mask value net mask then value is 255.255.255.2 48 so here we can use the 8 IP so sub net mask value is 248 here we can see first of all in dynamic net we can create the pool IP in global mode IP space NAT space pool next we can give the pool name any name we can given 
okay next starting ip is 200.200.8 and ending ip is 200.200.15 so totally 8 ip so the subnet mask value is so subnet mask and net mask are both are same here we can use net mask space 255.255.255.248 so 248 can be calculated as 128 plus 68 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 so last value we can add it as 8 so each network we can assign 8 value so that's why only we can use 248 okay next we can provide the access list for what purpose we can use access list means what are the network to be permitted to translate the private IP address into public IP address so here two networks are there so both networks are permitted to translate the private IP address into public IP address so in global mode we can give access hyphen list we can use only standard access list in NAT so I will give 1 to 99 here I will give 50 next permit the source network is 